This is how to replace the rear struts in a Toyota Echo. First, fold the back seats down. Then you're going to have to lift and pull back all this plastic and weird felt stuff. Don't be afraid to really pull it back. It's not going to break. Well, it'll break if you're being mean to it, but just gently pull it back with authority. How's that? What we want is down here, the very top of the shock absorber or strut. We want to take off, before we do anything else, those two little nuts right there. Now's the time to get an impact driver if you didn't already get one. You will need it for this. I suppose you can do this job with hand tools, but this is just going to make it so much easier and so much faster. You can buy one like this from Harbor Freight for $50. Put on an adapter, a little extension, and a deep weld 14 millimeter socket. The impact driver will allow you to take these nuts off, whereas if you had a, just a hand tool and a long, long extension, what would happen would be that thing where you, you're turning a nut and you're turning a nut and you realize the whole thing is turning, the whole shock absorber is turning, and you can't turn the nut out. The impact driver will just rattle, 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 and, and the, it'll turn it so fast, it'll all just, this, the nuts will just come right out. And of course, one nut is going to pop off and lose itself down in there, so when you do it, keep an eye on, on that thing, or else you're going to have to futz around there with a pair of long tweezers and try to get it out. Long needle nose pliers. Take the wheel cover off, and you don't need the impact driver for this, but as long as you have it, it makes short work of those lug nuts. Now get a real jack, not the little one that comes with your car. You're going to put that with a rag on top, underneath the spring. The nice thing about the Toyota Echo is that the rear shocks and struts are two different pieces so you won't need a spring compressor from this. By putting the jack underneath the spring the weight of the car as you jack it up will compress the spring and allow you to take the strut off. Take the wheel off. It looks like I have plenty of room under there from where the camera is but I really don't. With a hand tool it will be really awkward getting that nut off back there especially because that nut has never ever been moved in the life of the car. I don't have the strength to get it out and there's not really a whole lot of room for a long cheater bar under there. An impact driver is the easiest and quickest way to do it. And now the strut just comes right out. There's the old strut and the new strut. We're going to reuse the plastic bit on the top of the old strut. Put the new into the old, replace the rubber bushing there, and it all goes back in the way it came out. It only goes in one way on the bottom, so if it doesn't feel like it wants to go back on the bolt, flip it around and pull it on the other way. Now go back inside the car carefully because it's jacked up still, and on the very top where the new strut is poking out through, put the rubber bushing on first with the rubber facing upward, and then the metal washer on top of that, and then use your driver to rattle those nuts back down. Back around underneath, bolt the strut on the bottom back on, replace the wheel, and you're done. Now do the same thing to the other side. Those struts, those KYB struts, I think that's what they're called, only cost about $30 online. Buy them in a pair, plus shipping, you spent $64, $68, and there you go. You saved $140.